I appreciate you very, very much for clicking on this video about the West Coast offense and more in detail the Gun Bunch Week offense, which I'm going to show you a, a one play in. You probably know it if you play Madden extensively. You for sure know it. I'm, gonna, I'm of course talking about uh, verticals out of the Gun Bunch Week formation. It's one of the best plays in the formation. I'm going to show you how you can put the best rod combinations on the field for you to get the most out of said play. I have three route combinations for you today and they're all fire so they have and they're very different so you have a lot of different uh, chances to utilize this play and they all get open very reliably so stick around till the end you don't want to miss any of the of these three setups there are of course more setups to this but I just wanted to, uh, to show you guys the most important ones and the most that I've, and the ones that I feel have the biggest are most important to this scheme and can make the biggest impact so the very first setup is the most uh, simple it's the simplest one we're just gonna in route or drag route the square receiver which I want you prefer I usually go with an in route but it's personal preference I think there's not that big of a difference the timing is a little bit different the in, in route takes like a second longer to get uh, to the spot we wanted to go in which is kind of like where, you, where the arrow ends let me see you and yeah, let me show you Kind of like in this area is where you want the in to throw the in route most uh, that That's the best timing for it. You can also, of course, throw it a bit early if you see it getting open. But yeah, I'm just going to run the play against a stock cover three. And here's what you want. So I was kind of, I was on the linebacker there, which is unfortunate. I'm going to change that. Once again, this setup, we got, we, got, we got the in route, this direction, and we got the wheel route motioned out. And the read is pretty much, in this case, we can throw to X a bit earlier, in my opinion. I waited a little bit too long to show you, off, to show you the read, but that's something that you can throw very consistently. Because of this motion out, the flat zone gets kind of like dragged out, and we can throw this. Ooh, that's a bad throw. That's a noodle arm throw by Brady. <clears throat> but once again, this kind of like pocket opens up where we can throw the X receiver right here. Session catch it, go down. And that's uh, one of the hard reads on this play. This route gets open fairly quickly. But let's just imagine this route isn't open, which most of the time it will be open, like right there again. We're gonna throw the in route and try to get some rack yardage. And that's the biggest thing about this gun bunch formation in general. Try to try to take what the defense is giving you. Because we have a lot of corner routes, a lot of post routes that only get, get open. Or they get better open uh, if the uh, opponent shades underneath to cover those tracks, flats and so on. So we really want to hit these short routes to be able to attack deeper with the corner routes and post routes. But yeah, you can of course also throw this crossing route. I'm going to show you right here. There's a little pocket for it. Unfortunately, in it meant match because it didn't adjust the zones, but that's fine. Now we're going to show it against cloud flats. That's the setup. And you can see that there's... Oh, that's a bad throw. I should have lowballed that. Anyway, I'm going to show you that you can complete this pass one more time there you go Ooh, it's gonna man match again yeah again just just trust me you can fit that ball in with a low pass it's a bit of a tighter window but it's definitely possible to throw it so one more time yeah you see i got a chance on the ball it's a tight window but you can make it work the second setup that I'm going to show you is from the right hash mark. In this case, you can say that the bunch needs to be to the shorter side of the field, meaning there is less space. If you're on the right hash mark, we want the bunch on the right side. If you're on the left hash mark, we want the bunch on the left side for this setup. We're going to block the halfback. We're going to motion him across and then we'll have a drag in route and we'll restreak uh, Brown. And you'll be able to see that he gets in kind of like this tender area, which means uh, that there's really not 
any zone that can get to it i think you need to man up that route for it to get covered or user it but usering it is also a win for us because because then we have to read from the drag to the in route a bit later yeah you see it got open there again but we can also throw the drag route in this instance one more time with the motion and then we're gonna move on to the that setup because this setup doesn't actually it's a simple setup and it's a simple read for the most part because it pretty much gets open against any coverage right there that's a beautiful possession catch and yeah there's not much else to say about this play other than you have a nice uh, drag to in route uh, read in this case I would throw the drag it's a bit of a tighter window you, you, you see that I can also fit the corner route the uh, crossing route turn corner route be in behind the cloud flat zone but I decided to show you that I can throw the in route, uh, the drag route just as well. And now I'm gonna get the in route open. That's kind of like this pocket right there. You can also wait for him to pass the other linebacker and throw it between the uh, hook curl and the, oops, and the flat zone. But yeah, that's all I have to show you for this setup. We're gonna wait for him to get outside of the, of the flat zone and then we can throw it pretty easily. Okay, so far I've showed you a, a setup for, for the punch to the right side of the field, like in this case, uh, you see the punch to the right side of the field. The, the last setup I showed you was with the punch to the short side of the field. Now I'm going to show you another setup for the right side of the field and it's a really nice setup because it kind of like builds upon a, the first setup with the same motion. It looks exactly the same, but it's a completely different route combo. So we're gonna drag X. And we're gonna in route flash gordon motion him out and you see like this drag crosser in route route combination developing and the crossing route gets wide open against pretty much any coverage what might give it fits is a baseline pressed cover three we're gonna check that out right now because i actually haven't left that if this defense uh, stops this route combo it stops a lot of crossing routes, but we're gonna see if it stops this one too. In this case, you would of course take the touchdown. So, it doesn't even get back. So, this is pretty much a crossing route that's gonna get open against any zone coverage. It's not that great against man. If you're playing a guy who's playing a lot of man coverage, I would throw a crossing route manually on him. I'd get the slot apprentice, and this route will work almost guaranteed i'm just interested in seeing right now if this then collides with the no it's fine aggressive catch yeah there you go that's a very good play so to revisit what we uh what i showed you today in route motion him out and yeah pretty much the extra is getting open all, all the always the thing with this circle is that you often get an inaccurate quick throw like quick throw like right there it used to be better last year. You could basically guarantee a completion if you threw that ball. This year, because it was so cheesy last year, they patched it. So it doesn't really work anymore. The second setup that I showed you was the corner route. Where we're gonna block the halfback. And, all, and for all of these setups, block the halfback. I forgot to mention that. That's the wrong player. Let's motion him back want the crossing route to go across the formation there you go and you can also experiment with that a little bit like you can put the in route you can uh, put a deep uh, in route on the field you can also like do a curl you can put a hitch there and then playmaker and we can pretty much do whatever you want with that receiver it's not really this receiver isn't it really important for the route combo because he doesn't his job is just to be a backup option if the crossing route and the drag route get both covered which is pretty uh, like unrealistic and it's gonna be hard for your opponent to cover both just so that you have a safety net pretty much and the last setup is to build upon the first setup with the motion and just pretty much make the read in this case I will always almost always go with either the crossing route or the in route because there's a nice separation and the 
<clears throat> and the hooker zones they get kind of like dragged away and you have this nice pocket right here to deliver the pass thank you very much for watching this video if you have not checked out my super bowl gameplay in my undefeated season I, I really recommend you to watch it. It's a great game. I'm not in this offense yet. I'm not running the Gamma Week offense, but I'm still an, an amazing offensive display. And also, my defense was pretty good in, the, in this in that game. I highly recommend you to watch it because you can learn a lot, a lot from it. I've watched it like three times right now to see what I did well. Thank you very much for watching once again. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and also uh, hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. I traded my truth for some robbers, and he's playing Batman, but he's gonna rob him.